Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked. Well, it's not ranked actually. Well, it's kind of ranked. I'm fighting Altig, who um is in call with me. Hello. Um, you're like one of the only people that's ever gotten that cue, by the way. Congratulations. Um, but he obviously, you can see by his border, he's in GM. So i'm not fighting some random pleb and i'm also not doing a mirror match you're welcome i know i'm i'm so generous but i've seen all the comments for the last first looks and uh you want to see someone good and you want to see a not a mirror match so that's what we're doing today so i guess um Altic, do you mind sitting in your base for a second yeah sure so i guess while uh this is the first look video i'll go over everything he does his passive is basically has two weapons, his left weapon, which is called Shingetsu, and his right, which is Managetsu, uh, or Mangetsu, I don't know. If you hit with his left, it will give you um, mana every time you auto attack with his left weapon, which I think he goes left, right, left, right, uh, left, right, left, yeah, so it's just left, right, left, right. Um, if you hit with his left, you get a mana heal and bonus damage. If you hit with his right, you get a health heal and bonus damage. Obviously, those scale based off what level you are, up to 22 per auto attack, so it's pretty nuts. There's one, oh, I guess I should go on not instant cast for the first time I ever play this character. Um, his one is this targeter, little straight line. And basically what it does is he throws out a shuriken and it will damage enemies and then stop on gods. So it will go through minions. It will stick into the god. If you get close to the god, you can pick your shuriken out of them, reducing the cooldown. And um, not only that, but obviously you see this is him throwing the shuriken. Then after I have a second targeter, which is just a ranged auto attack. Which I'm not sure which one it powers. Oh, Shingetsu's. Which is his left. So it's his left auto attack. And it's just far ranged. Um, you get 40% off the cooldown of it when you pick it up out of the enemy. Which is awesome. And yeah. Next ability, which I think will probably be his best. Is his 2. As you see here, it's got a really weird targeter. Um... So what he does is he turns his weapons into these little whip things, uh, kind of like Bologna's 3. And he hits the left side and then the right side. And then stuns in the middle using both of them. So I'll use the ability and then I'll tell you what it does. Um, basically, the left side, if you hit them, it will disarm them. This is really far up, sorry. Uh, the left side, if you hit them, it will disarm them. The right side, if you hit them, it will disarm them again. And the middle side, or the middle side, the middle, um, if you hit them with the middle, it will stun them. And these are what the, all the durations of that are, and the damage and stuff. Um, apparently, while channeling him, he is also knockback immune, and uh, has a 33% increased movement speed. So let me run around while I do that. Yeah, he de definitely noticeable. Okay. And three, a brand new targeter to smite a crescent shape. That is fucking huge, actually. I didn't know it was this big. Um, it's actually gigantic. <laughs> Have you seen this? Yeah, I was watching earlier, and I saw a little bit of him. But it is quite the big target here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But, okay, so it's a crescent thing. He throws down uh, Caltrops, basically. And for anyone who walks over them, they get damaged and slowed. Something unique about this ability, though, is that if they do not move when they're on your Caltrops, they don't take damage. They're not slowed and they don't take damage. They're just there. Um, so, yeah, that's really sick. And then, obviously, you see my targeter right now. After you use your 3, it's kind of the same effect as the 1, except this time it um, increases your mana gets you, which is your right hand throw. Uh, and it... Instead of just being a ranged auto attack that deals movement speed, because that's what the one does, this is a ranged auto attack that deals bonus true damage, because that's easy, right? That's easy to deal with. 
Oh god. Bonus true damage. Boom. Um, and I guess we should just restart because we're already four minutes in and minions are going to be super tanky, so. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, um, those are his abilities and you'll see his alt, but I'll explain it as best I can. <laughs> it's very complicated. Um, so he, he kind of goes into like anime form and starts shooting laser beams out of his hands. He shoots four laser beams, and they don't really do that much damage. But what comes after is what does the damage. And that is the fact that, uh, the lobby's made. That's the fact that whatever you hit, including minions, you teleport to and slash them. And when you slash them, you're like, oh, okay. You teleport and slash. What if you hit a minion before the god? Well, good news, it hits 12 fucking times. So, um... You you hit three things with it, two minions and a god, you hit each of them four times. You hit six things with it, you hit each of them twice. You hit one person with it, you hit them twelve fucking times. What the fuck? And I don't know exactly the damage of it, but what I do know is that it seems a little bit busted. And fucking busted. The, the only thing, the only thing though that I will say is that you teleport where you end. Okay, so it's not you don't teleport back to where it is. So this is the damage of it. Um, let me see. Tsukuyomi challenge challenge channels the power of the full moon. Gaining CC immunity and 50% damage reduction. <laughs> okay. Uh, he fires four forward piercing beams of moonlight. It's a laser beam. Don't at me. Hold on. Killing minion wave. Alright. Um, and enemies he hit become marked. Each beam can hit up to three enemy gods. After firing all beams, Tsukuyumi charges forward at light speed, dashing through all enemies in the order they were hit, dealing heavy damage. Tsukuyomi will end his dash at the final enemy hit. I heard somewhere that it was 12 hits, but I could be completely wrong. Please don't kill me. I'm, I'm super fragile. He hurts. Yeah, he does some damage. He does some numbies for sure. Big, right? No! Ooh, a little scary there, I'll admit. A little scary. Yeah, he doesn't I have any movement, right? No, so basically his whole movement is more so like Arachne, where he gets a movement speed increase during his two channel, and he has two different forms of slow. He has his Caltrops, which slow, um, let me see the, the slow of it, up to 25% fully scaled, and um, then he has his one, which the auto attack after his one will slow... Um, what's the slow on it? 25%. But it's not only a slow, it's a movement speed steal, so it's a 50% movement speed switch, which is huge. So he doesn't really have anything by itself that's like a jump or a movement ability, but he does have a few things up his sleeve. Boom, 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 boom! That's kind of nuts, right? Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> it's super sick. Oh no, this boat tapped me out. Go for the minions, come on, buddy. I don't know about that, you can have them. <laughs> By the way, my ranged, my empowered auto attacks for my one and my three do actually proc Golden Blade. 
which I didn't think they would. So if I really am in a pickle, I could just spam my abilities and clear from afar. So I heard um, through the grapevine that you want to build him power and attack speed because his scaling is super not okay right now. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Power attack speed build. Oh, you can see by the way, um, when my weapons are empowered, they have this little glow effect to them. So let me show you that real quick. Boom. So you see my left side is a little glowy. And now my right side is a little glowy. Pretty cool. So that's just like a visual indication of when you can have your, um, I guess, buffs up, your passive buffs. <gasps> boom, 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 boom. That ult's really fucking cool. That ult is so sick, dude. <laughs> that ult is so cool, dude. I think, dude, visually, probably the best ult in the game. Cthulhu's up there. Don't get me wrong. In, a, in like a visual manner, but... I don't know. That's like super anime. And I don't even like anime. I just messed up my two completely. You know how it hits left and then right and then middle? I literally juked left so it would hit right, left, and then middle first, and I missed both of the, the halves. I'm actually an idiot. Oh my god, the slow on the, the Caltrops lasts so long. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> He's actually got a lot of self-peel. It seems like. Oh, damn it. So it, de it definitely did not hit 12 times there. I don't know how many I don't know how many times it hits. I think at most it can hit twelve. Maybe yeah, that's like if you hit a bunch of different people with it. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. I'm gonna alt the wave next time and see if that's what it is. I think I think it's at most you can hit twelve. Because I think I only hit you three or four times there. Yeah. The ability says it hits six times, so that counts the laser Oh, the ability said it hit you six times. Okay, and I hit you with two of the, the beam boys, so it hit you four times then. Okay, so maybe like each hit of the laser counts for two hits? Maybe. That'd be super OP though. But, I mean, you never know. Moonlight. This god is really fun to play, dude. Like, just the, the feel of the god is really fun. Even if he might not be that great. Well, I'm, and I'm not saying he's not good, but like, let's say they hella nerf him on release, I would still play him because he just has a fun feel to him. No, nah, so I hit you with three of them, and that time, I still only hit you four times. Yeah, weird. Who knows? That's not good on minions, because they don't fucking move. Right. Damn, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, 300 shuriken damage. Does it go through walls? Did you see the shuriken? So it doesn't go through walls then. Get away from me. Oh my god, 
God, the the two disarm is crazy. Yeah, the the double disarm into a stun. It's nuts, and not only that, but it's it's a double disarm into a stun that also gives you movement speed and knockup immunity. So like. Let's say Bacchus jumps on you in a in a in a joust match, like a ranked joust match. You just three, or you two, sorry, and he's stunned and out of position. Crazy, 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 crazy. Holy shit. Yeah, see that time it hit eight times. Yeah, that, that ult hit eight times for 832 damage. I think I hit I think I hit you all four times though. So I think it I, I think it hits four times no matter what, like four dashes. No matter what. And then after like before the four dashes. Wow, eight thirty two from that ability this early. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Oh, dude, Serrated Edge would actually frag on this guy because you're constantly spamming abilities on him to uh, to get your empowered autos and also just to win a, a trade. Oh, actually, the scaling of the bonus damage and mana heal and health heal is not directly a level. It's... Oh, you fucking hooligan. Ow. <laughs> Wait, you're ulted more than mine. Oh, yeah, it did. <laughs> What's that, huh? How much power do you have, though? Uh, oh, I had red buffs. I had, uh, you have 289. 289. Or 189. Sorry, I'm an idiot. You're 190 right now. Um, <clears throat> ouch. Your middle tower is under oh, his jump is kind of sick. Does he have a special? Nah, he doesn't have a special. And I didn't unlock his emotes. What kind of hooligan first look is this? True damage. Fuck. 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 <laughs> oh my god, that ability is so... Dude. He's so good at kiting during fights. Yeah. Cause like... His abilities constantly slow or peel for himself. So he might not be very good at getting close to people, but if he gets close to people, he fucks them up. I wonder how his ult will be in like team fights because it could put him like really out of position. It could, yeah, it definitely could put him out of position. But I think in conquest, people are using it more. Like in the jungle, people are just using it for ganks and then late game they're using it for picks and if they don't get a pick then it's like it's almost used as like an execute because yeah, you're untargetable during the ult so you could frag during it it's just you die afterwards <laughs> cut it out Hey. <laughs> All right. All righty then. Yo, my two, if I hit all aspects of my two, 
Which I did on you. Did 600 damage, actually. Yeah, that's wild. That's so that, much. That ability is really good. Yeah. For, a, for an ability that has two disarms and a stun, the fact that it has 600 damage is not okay. I think, isn't the disarm length like three seconds or something too? Disarm length is 2.5 at max rank. It scales up. Wow. I think it's the same as Bologna's disarm. Yeah, that's kind of wild. Yeah, I agree. Dicks, dude. What is a uh, what is this? Oh no! Damn. <clears throat> I will say. Oh my god, <laughs> you're all did eleven hundred damage. <laughs> um, I will say. His ult seems like the, his the worst part of his kit. Oh yeah. Like everything else feels so good, and then using his ult almost feels bad. It almost feels like you're trying to lose when you use your ult. The cal drops to me don't seem that great. They seem kind of cheesy. Yeah, but like because the targeter is so big. You can cut off like the entire lane with it. That's true. So they so they can't run, you know, because it's such a big slow. And also, like, like I used earlier in the game when you were beating me up, and I just put them at my feet, and I was able to get away because of it. Yeah, that is true. It does make itself a deal. I I think I don't know. Is the entire kid whether or not the ult is the worst? Because I think the putting you out of the card is kind of rough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away from me. <laughs> oh! With the dash and the ult. Holy shit! Trying to dash away and you blocked it. I really like the fact that his one can actually clear wave. That's like super good. Oh, dude, you get okay. <laughs> you need to fix that. You get your empowered auto heal off of towers too. Yeah, that's that's like Bologna three all over again. <laughs> so, so does he heal? Yes, he does with his autos though. He deals bonus damage and heals his mana using his autos. It's f I'm because I'm level twenty. The highest it will go is forty, which is what I'm at right now. It scales with your power though. Wow, that takes for a hundred, huh? Yeah, it certainly does. Yeah, he does. He does actually. And I only have 10% cooldown. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah. He's super cool. Yeah, I'm healing 40 mana on the left hits and 40 mana on the or and 40 health on the right hits. Okay, so it's not that crazy. It's not, no, it's not that that crazy. But if you added like serrated edge to him, because I didn't get around to building it, that was going to be my last item. I think. I mean, he seems kind of nuts, like real shit. <laughs> like, yeah. In, uh, in Man, duel. In duel, he seems kind of nuts, and I don't. I mean, 
Look, I don't want to say this all cocky and shit. But the last assassins who came out, aka Set and Kamazots, I was the one to show that they were super OP in duel. I'm gonna do the same fucking thing with Sukiyomi, dude. Alright, I'm looking forward Because he's that. he seems pretty strong, man. He seems pretty strong. Yeah, he just got like all the tools. Like he's got really good like initiation, really good disengage with his caltrops and his um his slows. Yeah, his his speed. his one has that fifty percent movement speed swing. Well, he seems like he's got a lot of potential. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Well, there you go. Against a GM player this time, not a mirror match. And um and I explained all the abilities. I don't think there's anything missing from this first look except for the fact that I got DC'd out of my RuneScape game. God damn it. <laughs> well, anyways, um, thank you so much for uh, playing with me, Alti. No problem. It was a good, fun game. Cool <laughs> in action. Chat, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, um... Until next time, guys, peace.